Hi everybody, Harris here with iDownloadBlog, and today we're taking a look at a cool shortcut for iPad or your iPhone as well that can help you maximize your battery capacity, your battery life, and just your battery health in general. Now unfortunately on the iPad, Apple doesn't give us the battery health indicator, but on the iPhone it certainly does. In the past couple of years, people have begun to get more health conscious with their battery life and their battery capacity, especially with the iPhone 12s, which seem to be decreasing in capacity pretty quickly, perhaps MagSafe effect, I'm not sure. But anyway, my iPhone 12 mini is at 91% capacity after less than a year of usage. But one thing that has kind of gone around the internet circles as a way of helping out your battery life would be either to not fully charge your devices if you don't need to. For instance, if you charge your iPad every night anyway and you only need 80% battery, or once you hit 100 to stop charging. Apple claims to do this in their software to slow up the charging speed after 80% once it learns your charging tendencies so that overnight it doesn't have to jack it all the way up to 100% and leave it there for hours. But there's a nice way to manually do this but have a little bit of automation to help you along the way. And for this we're going to go into shortcuts. So once in shortcuts you're going to go to automation. Once you're in automation you're going to click the plus and do create personal automation. And you're scroll down to where it says battery level. Very simple. And you're gonna choose the battery level that you want. Again, I think 80% is a good rule of thumb for people that want to uh, just help the battery life in general. Stop charging at 80%. If you have something like an iPad or a Mac that can perhaps get away with that for a full day's usage. For an iPhone, it might have to be 100% depending on which you have. For my iPhone 12 mini, it's definitely going to be closer to that 100% because this thing will not last me a full day otherwise. And then you can do equals, rises above, or falls below. And depending on what use case you want, maybe you want it to be uh, 20%. So that when your phone reaches 20%, uh, you can use this feature, which I'm about to show you, so you know to plug in your phone. But we're going to do the opposite for this video. We'll do equals 80% but you can obviously make it 100 or whatever you want. And then you're gonna do add action. So one thing you can do is a notification, show notification, and you can have that be whatever you want. So iPad is at 80% battery. Okay, so that'll show me a notification right there. iPad is at 80% battery, that's fine. Now if your device is on do not disturb, you won't see that notification unless you have your Do Not Disturb set up to include notifications while your device is unlocked, but that is not my case. Now you can also do something which is probably a little bit more practical or maybe good to combine it, and that would be to speak. Speak text. Speak, your iPad is at 80% battery. Unplug it now to preserve health and longevity. You're probably not gonna want something that long, but you can see what, what this is gonna do. Your iPad is at 80% battery. Unplug it now to preserve health and longevity. And boom, we're done. Now you can also choose a few options, the rate, the pitch, the language, and the voice. And then you might also want to turn off ask before running, otherwise uh, it'll kind of defeat the purpose. Now, if you have maybe a smart plug that you use to charge your iPhone or your iPad anyway, you can add another shortcut here and you can turn off that switch of your smart outlet or whatever you're using so that it'll automatically stop charging your device. But I don't have any of those set up right now, so I can't demonstrate that. But what I can do is just get the notification. Uh, I can set that up on all my devices depending on where I want it so that when it reaches that level, I'll get a nice notification and spoken text to let me know. Now it's important to note that even if you have do not disturb on, it will still speak the text. So if you wanna do notification, this will only alert you if you have do not disturb turned off, but if you speak it, it will always alert you. So keep that in mind if you're charging this overnight. So yeah, you can tinker around with this and kind of change it up and add some things and some smart actions with your home as well. But I think this will be a cool little tactic to help preserve and prolong your battery life on your devices. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments.